Hello everyone and welcome back here to Sunless Sea and I must admit I really miss playing this. I've been trying over the last couple of weeks to uh, get this problem sorted with our lodgings where we can't uh, sleep and we can't buy a townhouse. I can't do really anything to advance the storyline with this because of this problem. I've raised a support ticket as of recording, have not heard anything back, but my experiences with Fell Better Games are pretty good. And I know they'll get back in touch with me uh, soon. So, what are we going to do today? Um, in the last episode, I bought some Tomb Colonists, so I think we're going to drop those off for a bit of money. And then we will head... Oh, they think they've changed that slightly. Yes, they have, haven't they? All right. Uh, we will head down here. We'll head down to the south and see if we can find anything new. It's it's an area we haven't gone to yet and we can stay near the coast which is not going to affect our terror too much. Might find something fun, might not. One way to find out isn't there. And it's this way. So let's see how we go here. We want to try a bat search. I've not tried one of those yet. Got plenty of fuel but uh, not that much in the way of food. I'm hoping the bats will fix that. We'll see as it goes. And to save a bit of time, I think I'm just going to cut straight north. I'm going to go from beacon to beacon as we go north. It means we'll probably get a few more fights, but quite frankly, I could use the practice. So let's see how we do. For some reason this seems to be the episode where I talk about Doctor Who and the... Oh, no, forget that. Ooh. Oh, we took a bit of damage there, but I think we did better than them. So let's get that, uh, let's get our reward. Matter of luck. Okay, let's send her home with the prize crew. And we just lost those two crew. That is unfortunate. We don't have much of the way of crew at the moment. But uh, still, no desperandum, as they say. Right, we've moved on to this set of beacons, so we will hug the coast a little bit now. But uh, perhaps not as much as last time. Uh, we could use a little bit of healing now. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a touch of a frog in the throat there. Use a little bit of healing now, I think. The Hungry Dead. Your cook is outraged. One of the tomb colonists has woken up from his coffin to rest and found his way to the stores. When the cook came across him, he had consumed half a wheel of cheese and an alarming quantity of suet. Do we fling him overboard or do we put him in the hold? Let's put him back in the hold. I need the money. So we've lost some supplies. That is going to become a problem here. And because of the lack of crew, we can't even travel faster. So let's get cracking on. Use some bats. I'm actually looking forward to seeing some bats here. Ah, there's some bats. Back away from the touch. And there we go. And let's get a reward. So according to the observations we didn't do that, so we can gather the corpses or dispose the corpses. There we go, that's put us uh, some supplies. Let's all clear that for a moment. And there we have it. How are we doing for Terra? Terra 41. So these combats are actually reducing the Terra, which is not bad. Here, batty, 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 batty. I can't believe I actually want to fight bats. But anyway, we've made it up north. Quite good time, as a matter of fact. 
So let's get back to the coast and we'll pop into Vendermite, sell off those colonists, head back to London, get some more crew, and then head south and see what we see. While we're chugging along up here, there's something I want to check quickly. Do we have any? Yes, we have a secret. There's something I haven't tried yet. You can't speak to him. Oh, that's a shame. You could speak to the. Uh, you could speak to Squeakers, but you can't speak to uh, the Wretched Mog. Who, incidentally, is going to be called Phantom. I asked for suggestions. I got one. So that one is the one we use. Welcome, Phantom. Welcome to the crew. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades. But it's not a good omen. So we can't spin them a story, because we don't have any Z stories, but we can attempt to calm them. And uh, we failed, but we only gained one terror for it, so not really a problem. Right, here we are. We are in port. We use so much less in the way of fuel going straight across. I think it's worth the the, uh, the risk. So, okay, into Vendabite. Let's shell these guys off. Uh, it's that one. Let's go back to 45. And uh, then we want to go into Vendermite. Let's just do this as quickly as possible. We've all seen this before. If this is the first one you've seen, my apologies. Go and see an earlier one. <laughs> Sorry. Explore Vendermite. Let's see if we can find anything with you. A raggedy fella. Ooh. Captain, I'm a good Zeman. I'm yours if you'll have me. Will you have me? I'm hungry. I'll work hard. He seems likely enough, if a little ragged and sorrowful. We'll take him with us. We have gained one crew. You won't be sorry. I'll work double watches. Ask anyone. They'll tell you I'm a good name. Yes, yes, yes. Eventually, you get him to stop talking. His enthusiasm is pro promising, if a little pitiful. There may be further effects from this decision. <laughs> Almost immediately. A skilled crewman. This is the sailor who. This is the sailor who came begging to you for a berth. He's done good work this one, but he's keeping a little shrine to the salt, the nameless god of the horizon, at the back of the hold. Do we allow it or do we forbid it? I think we allow it. You let him keep his salt circle and his chalked arrow. That night, as you stand on the foredeck, a soft breeze comes out of the east, the salt's direction. Tossles your hair, passes. Now, that's, I do love this game. The, the 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 narration in it is absolutely fantastic. The people that uh, did write it, did create this, need to be commended as far as I'm concerned. Right, back into Vendabite. Let's gather some gossip because that's worth another ten when we get back. Uh, hmm. Let's see how we do. We can't send another ship back because we can't. I don't think we can actually work that well with two crew. So we'll see how we go. I think I might pop into Hunter's Keep, spend a little bit of crew, a little bit of uh, fuel for another five echoes. But yeah. Unfortunately, risking the extra terror by going straight across is, unfortunately, the profitable answer. Going round while perhaps a little bit more circumspect costs way too much. We've used four fuel to get this far, whereas um, if we went round we'd probably use about five, possibly even six. So we're just going to have to get a little bit terrified, aren't we? Uh, the problem is, of course, is this big, big square here with uh, no beacons in it. Oh well, off we go. Perhaps we'll find some bats to eat. You'll like that phantom, won't you? How about some bats? 
Right, anyway, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. I, I, I've confessed I've not been the biggest fan of this series so far. Um, you know, it, you know it's, it's the new Doctor Syndrome. It's the fact that I don't particularly like Clara. Um, when they start with a new Doctor, they slow down and the Doctor is supposedly to establish a personality and I just just dislike the way that they do it in all honesty but I must admit uh, I haven't minded the uh, the last two episodes too much the uh, the, the, uh, the the series finales um, they were relatively well thought through I thought they were decent stories it was nice to see a female Gallifreyan I mean I can't remember what of those for a very long time um, I won't give any. S oh. Let's go and say hello, shall we? Oh, we took a tiny bit of damage there, but I think we. Yep, yeah, we're all good. All clear. Right. We can't afford any crew, so what we'll do is we'll just loot this one and see what we get. It doesn't give us the better rewards, but it should give us just a reward. We gained a cache of curiosities. Okay, let's see what we got. Parabola linen. Parabola is the serpent place behind mirrors. Or well, someone made that up. But in that case, where do they weave this sleek and ambery glimmering cloth? We have one bale of parabola linen, which is a new one on me, I must admit. Let's get back to London and see what we can do with it. Uh, yes, Doctor Who. Um, interesting ending. Um, very strange in Doctor Who for there to actually be... Uh, um, a character death. I don't think I'm really spoiling anything by saying that. What did you guys think? You know, put some comments down. Let me know what you think. Um, I mean, that's the thing about Doctor Who fans is there's never one without an opinion. And quite frankly, uh, if you put two Doctor Who fans together in a room, you'll probably get three opinions. So let's hear what you have to say. But right here we are, back into London. That was a reasonably good fight. We are starting to take some damage now. But I think I'm going to let myself get a little bit more worn down before I put it into repair. We're, we're a bit broke anyway. Uh, the nice thing here is we've got about 55 um, echoes worth of uh, income. And I think we're only going to spend about 30 or 40 on fuel and food. So let's do this collect messages from the harbour master someone wants to sign on or something has changed in the neath right okay let's have a look here um, principles are common and so so we want romantic literature and syntax so he doesn't want parabola linen um, He's only interested in uh, that now, is he? A searing enigma. Uh, our lodging, writer will. Okay, that hasn't doesn't look like anything has fixed itself in there. I would just love to buy a townhouse just to see if I could do it. Uh, okay, moving on. Let's go to the Admiralty, submit a port report. Go. There we go. So we're up to 55 echoes. It's not quite the 300 I wanted to buy a gun, but I think at this point I just want to explore a little bit and um, I'll do some grinding later on. On the other hand, our terror is 42, which is not bad. Uh, okay, so shops. Uh, where is Parabola Linen? Sell for 60 Echoes. Yeah, I think we would like 60 Echoes. That sounds good to me. Let's get some provisions. Uh, right. 
One, two, and then we'll buy. What do Foxfire candles do? I don't know, but they're under provisions. So you'd think they we, we could use them for something. I've never actually found a use. If you know, let me know. And we'll get our supplies up to five. There we go. That leaves us a little bit of money in the kitty. I'm sorry, Phantom. And I think we're done. Let's head out. Let's go and explore a little. Let's see what is to the south of us. Okay. That little gap there is a dead end, as I found to my uh, annoyance at one point. Actually, I quite like the change they've done here. The other little border around. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? The icons work well. Right, we want to want to find ourselves a new island or a new port or something like that. Something that we can get a bit more story. And when our fuel gets around to five, we will turn around and come back. Going to do a 30 minute episode today, so we've got a bit of time to go somewhere and have a quick look. So it's not all uh, grind, which yeah, I know it's... Yeah, you have my scintillating conversation, but yeah, well, I feel sorry for you, to be honest. Laughter from the foredeck. Oh. Have you seen us? Let's fight him. I'm finding that standing still or backing off seems to be a good way of uh, dealing with these guys. Dissect it from knowledge, we butcher it for supplies. We've just used some food. So it's not really much help for us butchering it for supplies. So let's dissect it for knowledge and get a fragment. Oh, I've brought it up to a massive total of two fragments. Right, we've been to Mutton Island. Let's get back in shore before we start losing, gaining some terror. Losing some sanity, gaining some terror. I don't know. Uh, there's another one. Mm he doesn't want to play. No real benefit for us doing so anyway. I get the feeling Martin Island was supposed to be the place that uh, the game was expecting you to go to first. Far off, very far off. Someone screams. They have done a fantastic job with the, uh, you know, the, the, the ambience, the writing, the story. Uh, you can... Oh, somewhere new, 50 fragments. We've discovered Watchmaker's Hill. These are the people that wrote Fall in London, which um, I, I covered in an earlier episode of this. And everything they've learned in that has really come across in this storyline. The, uh, yeah, the, the, the look, the feel the artwork, the story, it all ties in together and provides a really excellent understanding. Little ships throng the waters here, the crew grow wistful. They swap old stories of sunlit sea. We near the Cumanian's canal to the surface. Interesting. Are you going to fight us? No. Right. Oh, coming back. Oh, he's going away. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving you, B. Let's get out of here. And he's coming back. And he's going away. I should spend that secret get some uh, stats increases. In fact, I think that's what I'll do now. So mirrors, veils, iron. Our iron is pretty high. Uh, what do you do? Hearts. Okay, I would like to increase our heart stat anyway. So let's do that. Let's speak to him. Increase your pages. No. 
though that would actually be good. Speak to Creature Veils. Uh, Veils is relatively high. Speak to uh, increase your mirrors. Our mirrors again are pretty good. Uh, okay, um, crew. We have anyone here? Yes, we do. Right, we're using them, but we're not using the Carnelian Exile, who is a first officer. Mirrors six, veils three. Mirrors six, pages three. I think I'm going to switch those two over. Uh, increase mirrors. No, our mirrors are already good. Oh. Officers. Switch those over. Yeah. Got to do it just one more time. Today, your ferret seems a little liver, livelier. The ferret rises from its pillow and moves to explore the cabin. It moves like a meandering stream of treacle. It noses its furniture, disdains boots, and returns to its pillow. There is nothing, its expression says. Nothing at all. Nothing for me here. Well, that was a wasted secret, but it was amusing. The Cumaean Canal. This looks like looks like we have some company. Looks like we have some invisible company. Come on. Don't know what's happening there. But Let's grab that because that will get rid of some of our, our hunger. Which of supplies? We've lost 42 hunger. Yep, excellent. So let's get back to the coast. And let's, let's see what the Kumeyan Canal will do for us. Never been down here before. Actually, while we're thinking about it, let's have a quick look at the map. No, we've not picked up anything new, but we will cut across the sea on the way back to Fallen London and see if we get anything new that way. Mm. Albertine Gates. Don't think they're going to open for us, really. But let's have a look around here regardless, see what we can find. We discovered Giannotti Harbour. Excellent. There it is. And a strange glowy thing, which we will go and have a look at later on. How we do? Oh, we're at half fuel, so we should actually head back now. But we will dock here first and have a look at a new place. Right, the Canadian Canal staging area. We can travel to the surface with 22 fuel. Now that is interesting. We can listen for surface gossip. Let's do that. The ships of the surface linger here. This is their lifeline to a warmer place. A card game ends badly when one surface sailor knifes another for all the usual reasons. The other players scrabble at the from the coins that spill from her pockets, but you snatch up a, pa a scrap of paper they overlook. Curious markings, dates, times, code names. Spies work. So we gained one move in the great game. Gather information for a port report. The gates open and shut. The locks remain free from sabotage. If anywhere besides London is safe in all the undersea, it's here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. So, new port report. Can't travel to the surface, but what shops do they have? 
very expensive very expensive but that's that that's the cost outside of London anyway so that's not really that surprising and they don't appear to buy anything shipyard no ships and I I think oh we do have a, oh we have two secrets still right I think it's time for us to go back let's see what that port report is worth to us and like I said I think I'm gonna just gonna head north this time cut across the sea and see cut across the sea and see if there's anything in the Z yes why not and what is that let's go and have a little look No, it's gone. Right, let's go. Oh, there seems to be some islands down there. We should come back and explore them. Here we go, we're probably going to pick up a bit of terror doing this, but our terror is low. So, I think it's worth the expenditure. Yeah, let's do this. Perhaps we'll find something new. Um, oh, we're still doing alright for fuel, especially if you think we can turn some of that food into uh, fuel as well. We may as well stop at Quaker's Haven as well, pick up a port report there, get a little bit of money out of this. Oh, island. Let's go and have a quick look. Mm, not so much an island, it's just a bit of rock. But it tends to indicate that there's something new around here as well. No. Nope. Z-bats cry out. They are nothing like birds. Very little like gerbils as well. Funny that. And here we are. Let's pop in here and get a port report at the very least. You never know, they might have another cat to sell. Okay. Drinks at the dock, cock and magpie, that would reduce terror. Explore the shore, chat to the fishermen, visit the hilltop above town. That's going to be something interesting. Okay, let's chat with the fishermen to get a, a port report. Pirates plying the waves, smugglers that work, carnate sh uh, smugglers at their work, do apologise, carnate ships putting in to resupply, nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Okay, let's visit the hilltop above town. Toasting the wind, you stand on a cliff top overlooking the little village, smokes from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards as you watch the smoke tilts. The sudden wind thins to a pencil smudge, then nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly like a god cut in half. What a noise! It must be the caves around the island channeling the air. At least, that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and make a toast towards the mainland. The wind is southerly. Right, we gain two terror, but we gain nine fragments. Not bad, not bad at all. And I thought as that would be the case, we can't do the other exploration option. All right. 
Perhaps not. Shops, nothing. Shipyard, nothing. Let's get out of here, shall we? Let's go around this way. Let's turn the engines off so we get a tighter turning radius. There we go. Ah, should have gone around the other way. Never mind. Westergren's Fire. That's a hell of a name, isn't it? So, all in all, this hasn't been too bad a, uh, a run. We've made some money. We fought some battles and won. And we've discovered somewhere new, as well as yeah, picking up some port reports, which I'm just going to go and go back to uh, to London and to spend. Uh, we we are doing quite nicely. Fuel is worrying me a little, but I think we got just enough to get there. Okay, so 22 fuel to get up to the surface. Let's have a quick look at the ship. Um, yeah, we could hold 22 fuel quite easily, plus the, t the, f the 10 to get down there, so that would be 32 fuel. Uh, that's an interesting uh, option, isn't it? We shall have to try that one out. And here we are, back at the walls of fallen London. Okay, question for you guys, okay? Um, I'm thinking this is not the best paced game really for for video a lot of this is just going to be watching the ship sail across the sea and uh, not really doing anything um, I can talk to fill the holes but uh, I suppose there's only so much you want to hear from me so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make a couple of suggestions here and I'd actually like to hear what you guys think there's a few things I can really do with this series the first one is quite simple I cut the journeys out so we fade out when we leave a port, we fade back in when we get into the port. There we go, that's our fuel. We'll just use the last... Oh dear. Let's... Let's deal with that. No, let's talk first. Um, yes, I can cut the, uh, the journeys out. Uh, the other one is a little bit more complex and it requires a bit of feedback from you guys watching. If I ask for questions and answer session, um, I can answer them here. So what I'd like from you guys is an idea of what you'd like to ask me. You can ask me any question. I reserve the right not to answer, but I will answer if I don't think it impinges on my personal life too much. So you ask questions, I'll answer them here. I think I'll also start using this as a blog. So this will be the this will be the episode where I talk to people about what I'm doing with the channel, what my plans are, things like that. Give a little idea of what's going on, talk about how the voting's going and things like that. It's totally up to you guys. Now I'd like to know whether you'd like more action with the journeys cut out or using the journeys uh, for a purpose. It's up to you. Let me know. I'm not going to do that. Let's go into court. Okay, so we've gone over the 30 minutes, but it doesn't matter. Let's do let's run through this quickly. See where we get. Right, um lodgings, alarming scholar, does he anything interesting? No, leave the university. Anything fun in London itself? Let's grab those. New recruits. What do we get? The Haunted Doctor. And the Genial Magician. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, I'm I understand that there's a lot of story around this guy. 
Good afternoon, Captain. Perhaps I can do your engines some good, no? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm quite the engineer. Difficult to credit, isn't it? But here, here are my references. He will increase whales and mirrors. We have an engineer. Let's get another one. One genial magician. Alright, officers, let's compare these two. So, you are six veils, six iron, and engine power plus 100. You are six veils, six mirrors, and hearts minus one. So, I think we are going to keep with maybe his daughter for now. But, uh, now we've got this guy. I've seen a few options about having him on the crew. So, that'll be interesting to see. Right, where were we? Let's put in some port reports. Quaker's he Heaven, been trying the original rubbery lumps, have we? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, for those who don't get it, um, that is a, a reference to porridge. And those who don't get that, there's a brand of porridge in the United Kingdom called Quaker's. Admiral's Fable remains unchanged. Your visit to Quaker's Haven has been confirmed. We've lost one poor port report, but we gained five echo. Okay. Um, the Kumeyan Canal, which gave us five echoes. Okay, so not too bad. We're a little bit broke again, but that's not really a problem. Oh, that is a problem. Oh, that's a bad problem. Oh, dear. Right, I'm going to have to work out how to deal with this. Because we can't, we don't have enough money to buy the supplies. I've been a fool. So we're going to have to sell something in order to buy the supplies. Oh dear, I've been silly. Alright, uh, what do we have? We can't sell the engine, but we can sell this, and that will give us enough fuel to start doing some round trips. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Yep, yeah, sell that. And let's buy fuel. That gives us seven fuel with one possible few food there. That's just about enough to get us to... Um, Vendor Bison back. Oh dear. And we'll have to do some stuff on Vendor Bison. Otherwise, we are going to be out of money, out of fuel, and pretty much out of options apart from this guy here. And I don't really want to do him. But if worse comes to worse, we will. Okay, so. Well, I think that is pretty much it. Anything new in the lodgings? No. I really must write a will before I lose this character. So there we go. Um, yes, if I could have an answer to you, to my question, please, guys, in the comments, would you let me know if you'd like me to cut out the journeys? Or would you like me to start doing this as a blog? Do let me know. Um, in the meantime, before the next episode, I will run up and down the coast a few times, see if I can make us some money. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, this 30-minute episode has just become a 40-minute one, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it didn't bore you too much. I uh, certainly did. It's been great playing this game again, just listening to the music, of nothing else. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Sunless Sea. Thank you, and good night.